Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Designer and select one of the tools, Star Tool. And just quickly create a star. With that, you can move it around, reposition it. But if you decide, you know what, I want to change, I want to change these points. Now I can interactively modify these, but you can also modify the points if you get access to them. And you can only get via this. So you can convert it to curves, becomes, because at the moment it's a star. It's not a curve. So convert to curves. Then you'll see bracket curve. It becomes a normal path, which you can then manipulate with the node tool. So go over the node tool, and as soon as you click it, you can see you've got these nodes. Now, the squares here, that's a corner point, or whatever, it, I mean, it's a sharp point. Corner in Illustrator, <laughs> always have to have it slightly different. It's sharp in there, which is more sensible, I guess. So you got there, and you can manipulate that, and you can move it back and forth. Now, with the node tool selected, you can see you've got these options. And I will go through them through the video. But here you can go for smooth. And there's also smart as well. Most time I don't use the smart one, but I go for smooth and you can just click there or click there. You can go backwards and forward. So again, go out there, drag it out, go smooth and you can see you get a nice rounded design that way. Or just go back again. And you can manipulate this. Now, when you go to smooth, you can see what you get. You get a circular design, which is quite sensible the way it's done. And also, notice with the node tool, if it's selected, it's blue. These ones are not selected and they're white. So you've got all those ones are not selected, they're white. And you've got these handles. And you can manipulate these handles and move it around, change that, tweak it. And also, you can hold down the alter option key. And then with that, you can manipulate that separate from the other one, which is quite nice, I think, as well. So you can create, again, small, unusual designs. So let's just remove that now. It's exactly the same with all the other shapes. So if I go for a rectangle, so there's a rectangle there. Again, it says rectangle. You need to convert to curves. Now, you can convert to curves via the top button, but there's also via this menu, right side menu, so right click menu, I should say. You can turn it into a curve that way. And again, you can see bracket, curve, bracket. Now again, no tool, and you can manipulate it. So you've got these, you can just click there, just drag backwards and forwards to create again lots of different shapes. Also, you can hover over here and hover and select, just don't click it. You just want to just select it, but you can also click on that, and then as soon as you click it, you add some extra points. You can just drag like that, or you can click it. Click it, and again, you get those and you can create all kinds of different, just by clicking there. Now, of course, it just adds more and more points, and uh, maybe that's not always what you want. And you can manipulate it. Now, you will notice that some, like these ones, these round ones, they're the smooth ones. You've got this one, the sharp. You can also, again, do exactly the same as, you just go backwards and forwards, click there, click there, convert. You can go backwards and forwards, heart's content. Well, you can, that's, they're all closed. Closed pass or closed curves, I guess, in Affinity Designer. So what you can also do is go to the pen tool and you can quickly create a design, any design. And I'm just quickly, randomly clicking some points there and you make a nice closed design or you can make it, because it's not connected all the way across to that one, it's open. And you can, of course, remove the fill. If I, if I don't want the fill, let's just move that out of the way. Go there and get rid of the fill. You can see design. Now, with the no tool, I can manipulate this. I can select the points, move them around, do that. And also, when I hover over here, I can then manipulate that to get nice curves. And also, you can hold down the shift. There's quite a bit of functionality. You can see that all along the bottom. There's some functionality. You can click, hold this down, whatever, to various transform things in certain ways, which you may or may not want. Then you like that. And let's just go through the other things now because I've done all those. Let's just go for this one. So this one's selected. You can see this one's blue. So that's selected. I can go over here, action. And I can click there and that breaks the curve. So break the curve. You can see straight away, you get two. That's what it does. So if I go to this one or another one, say that one, select that one. Again, click that. Another curve. So I've got now three curves out of that original design. And again, I can go here and then continue to manipulate this design. But you can see it's now broken away. 
from that original one and you can manipulate it separately. And obviously, once you've done that, you can always go and change the color. If it decides to let me, yep, let's go for a red. Now, weirdly, because of course they're all selected, let's just deselect that, they've all changed. Didn't want to do that, I wanted to have one go for one color, and there. So you can see now you've got that design, and of course you can modify the stroke width as well. However, let's just go back to the note tool again, and you can continue to manipulate the design. Now there's also other functionality as well, which is really nice. You've got this one, which is close curve. So you've got this design, you can see it's all the way around that there. You can close it. Just go there and click. And it doesn't do it particularly with great finesse. It doesn't make a nice smooth sort of curve. It doesn't work out. Oh, you must want it a curve. No, it just does a straight line between it, which is fine. But it, you can, of course, then manipulate it into the design that you want. And you can see the design and you've got that closed curve there. And of course you can fill it then. That's the key thing. So you, once you've got that, go over here and you can turn around and say, oh, I want it filled with red or blue, etc. And again, you can still manipulate it. No tool, just go over here, no tool, and you can still manipulate this path and change it to create many other different shapes. However, next one. No tool, select this one. With this selected, what you can do, you can manipulate that, but you can also go here. You've got an option here, smooth curve. Now it doesn't particularly do much smoothing, but you end up with all these. Now the end points, it doesn't turn into a smooth point. Strange enough. That's just a sharp, it's got a sharp one and you can still of course manipulate that, but it's still that sharp point. And likewise, that end point is sharp, but all these other ones you'll notice have been turned into lovely smooth points. And you can do the same with the other one. So again, with this one, select that one. Again, go over here, smooth. Smooth curve, and you can see it's smooth. And you've got some points that it just puts, that obviously that's the start point, it puts it as there. But you can always select it. If you decide, you know what, there's one or two that I think I should, you can click there, and you can turn it into, obviously there, it just makes sense, you can see it, it's now changed. And you've got this one as well, which is, I must admit, very rarely use reverse. So you've got a reverse feature as well. And there's a little bit more functionality there, closed curve, and then you've got this one here. And will it come up? Tell me what it is. Join curves. So you've got join curves as well. Now that obviously requires something slightly different. So I'm just gonna select this one and this one. Let's just select these points. And let's just remove that. Select those paths. So with those paths there selected, now I can go here, no tool. You can see now that's active. I'm just gonna do that, join curves. And it sees it makes a reasonable attempt at joining the curve. So you've got it back again, instead of being broken, you've now got the curve. Now that's all from this no tool. The no tool is a great little feature that you can manipulate, change things, move things around and explore and create whole loads of different paths. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.